Hey, it's Joel, the 3D Printing Nerd. Guess what? We are printing nothing today. It's a sad day. It's a sad, sad day. <sighs> Go. Boy, I don't like this. I don't like being sad. I was running a print overnight, and I thought, hey, I'm gonna wake up in the morning and I'll find a print, and then I'll be happy, I'll get it off the build plate, and I'll scream and run and jump, it'll be fun. I came in, and unfortunately, <laughs> it messed up. So, this is the extruder assembly here for my G-Max 1.5 XT, and as you can tell, there is an extremely hardened piece of PLA plastic around the hot end. I mean, it's, it's hard, it's, it's hard. It is, and it's wrapped around this wire, and my, my captain tape has been taken off, and there's this thing. Ugh. Let's see. There we go. Um, yeah. So needless to say, I <laughs> not, not only can I not print anything, um, I'm going to have to clean this up. So, ready? Let's do this. Cleaning mode engage. Auto level. There we go. Okay. What? I'm recording. I have to fix this, so I'm recording. Can I put it on your YouTube channel? I'm gonna put it on my YouTube channel. So first, I have to I have to take apart the fan shroud. I have to take it off. And I'm I'm doing it here because it's a big flat surface, and that way, if something drops, it's easy to find. Good idea, huh? And I'm filming it from both angles so I can go back and watch it and make sure I did things right. What is that big ball of yucky stuff? That's exactly what it is. It's a big ball of yucky stuff. I mean, is it 3D printing stuff or yucky? Yeah. It's, it's plastic. Out of? Uh-huh. Oh. The plastic extrudes from this. There we go. I only know one of those words. See, if I you look, see, so look right there? It melted that a little bit. That's really bad. It's not horrible. It's plastic. It's meant to. So, look at oh, this, Sid. you can 3D print a new one of those. I could 3D print a new one. Um, Whatever color you want. This is where it gets a little difficult. Ready? Are you there? Try to. the hard part. This stuff is so solid. Well, hold on, I have an idea. You can, just a bit. I have an idea, though. Ugh, yucky. What's the yellow stuff right there? It's called Captain Tape. E. Ooh, it doesn't smell good up here! No, it's gonna smell like plastic. Right? Yeah, but plastic doesn't smell good when it's melted. 
Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Look at that. It's just I might have a spare one of these. Let me go check. I didn't have any spare parts. But I got this off and now I'm in the shop. And I've got tools. Say tool and tool, let's see. All right, and I got fire. Um, don't try this at home. Let's see what happens. I literally don't know what's gonna happen. All right, my goal is to heat the plastic enough to where I can get it to dislodge. Probably a horrible idea, but at this point I don't care. Seems to be heating the outside well enough. It's dripping. Yeah, this isn't going too well. Oh, there we go. There's a piece. <laughs> hey, look at, look at that. There's a piece. Try this one. He's coming. Look at that. Stinks. Stinks bad. There we go. Maybe it is working. Look at that piece. Look at that. Let's see if I can dislodge it. Boy. Just put that down there. I know you're not supposed to play with fire, but this, um, this is kind of fun.
don't know if you can see, let's see, let me bring this a little closer. So this is as hard as a freaking rock, and I'm probably going to catch myself on fire before I'm able to melt this all off. But, you know I'm going to keep trying, right? All right. There we go. A little wiggly there, isn't it? See if I do that. Oh, there's going to be tears. My tears. Well, that's a little better. That was captain tape, apparently that burns. Probably a bad thing to do, but all right, let's just go for it. Well, I don't think, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to fix this. No, this is, this is dead. I'm pretty sure this is dead. And I'm probably stupid for trying to fix it with fire, but, oh man. How often, as an adult, do you get to play with fire like this? Hey, PLA melts. When you apply flame to PLA, it certainly melts. This sucks.
Boy, that was fun, and it kind of sucked. I started out my day with my 3D printer uh, non-functioning. It was, uh, the hot end was encased in a, a plastic glass-like cube from a print gone bad. I went through my day very worried. I attempted to use fire to fix the problem, but in the end, <laughs> I found my spare parts. I found my spare parts, I put my printer back together. Thankfully, it's there and printing right now. One of the things I have to tell you about is my, is my printer, the GMAX 1.5 XT. G-Create specifically designed the printer to be very modular. So if a piece fails, it's easy to replace that piece. All of the parts are available for printing online and for the metal parts, you can always order them from the company. This is not a paid endorsement of the printer. This is me and my experience with the printer telling you about how easy it was to repair. I had my spare parts. I put the printer back together and it's printing right now. Thank goodness. Um, it is late at night. I did start a print that's gonna run for a while. I don't know, should I let it go overnight? Yeah, let's do it, we're crazy. That was stupid. This goes to show you that investing in good hardware pays off over time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's always fun to play with fire. Um, and I've got myself a little keepsake. Maybe I can make myself a trophy of of this experience, for this experience to remind me of, hey, you remember that one time you used fire to fix your 3D printer? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, like this video because you're awesome, and as always, high five.